welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be showing you how to make this wooden DIY cash money tray. So this is a little bit smaller than the normal cash tray because I needed something to fit pretty nicely when I do my up close videos. So this is measuring about 8 inches by about mm, 10 and a half inches. So this will fit perfectly like I just said before. Alright, so this, I did pick this up at my local Ross, and I did pay $11.99 for it. So I'm just showing you this tag just in case if you do see it, and you might want to just grab one if you want to make one yourself. Alright guys, so if you want to check and see how to make this, please stay tuned. Alright, so supplies. This is just metallic folk art paint and ice blue that I used to paint my tray. This is just an Ejacto knife. You might need it, you might not, but... We'll see. And please, if you are using a knife, please make sure you use one of these gloves. These gloves are awesome to keep you from cutting yourself. All right, so next is good to have a white sheet of paper or cardstock. This way you can make a little template for your sleeves. All right, and next you're going to need some good old glue sticks. These are from the dollar store. And then next, just a pair of scissors. You might need them. Um, you might not. All right, and then the next thing that we're going to use is just a paper cutter. So if you don't have a paper cutter, you can use the scissors. And then next thing we're going to use is chopping mats. These are actually from the dollar store. You get two in them. They're also good if you want to make planter dividers also. All right, and then the next thing we have is just a paper plate, and I just use some toothpicks, and the paper plate is to put my hot glue gun on. And as you can see, there we go. Voila, the hot glue gun. We're just going to use this older box that I had. It's from a cloth and paper order. Um, I didn't need to get another wooden tray, so I just decided to use what I have. And you can also use a cardboard box also and paint it and then make it just like your tray. All right, so I am going to go ahead and grab my glove and put this on because Lord knows I am not good with these Ejacto knife and I will cut myself up. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this box down. And I am not the world's best cutter, so... Y'all give me some slack on this, but we are going to try to cut it as straight as we can. All right, not too bad. Okay, so as you can see, we have our box. Let me put the top on this really quick. And like I said, this is the box that you will be using for your cash money tray. And like I said, use what you have at home so that way you can save yourself some money. And then also you can take paint to kind of spruce it up, to kind of make it cute. This is what I put on my wooden cash tray and this is a picture of what it used to look like. All right, so next let's get out our paper cutter. We are going to go ahead and get our white sheet of paper. This is 110 pound paper that I'm using. You should use this to make a template so that way that when you're cutting your plastic cutting mat, you're not making mistakes and you're not wasting paper. Well, not paper, you're not wasting your cutting mat. So I've already got mine marked here so I can make it easy for me to figure out what size I need and if you do need to figure out what size you can just lay it on top of the box like this and then just mark it and then just cut it so when you get it all pretty much you know figured out you can just mark it on your cutter board all right so next let's go ahead and cut our paper to make sure we can make a little teeny pattern for all of our sleeves well dividers that's going to go inside of our cash money tray all right so then let's go ahead and do the mark. And we are going to go ahead and cut it down. All right, perfect. Okay, so this right here is going to be our little template, and you can just put it inside just to check it. And this is why I say to make one of these, because if it's a little bit bigger than what you need, you can always kind of slice it down a little bit. I would rather have to slice this paper down than to have to keep you know, messing up and slicing down my cutting mat. All right, so let's go ahead and try this again to see how it fits. And it looks like it's a good fit. And I do like how mine's curved. I don't like it going straight across because it kind of gives it like a little bit of, you know, hold or whatever. But you can do your straight across if you want to do that. Totally up to you. All right, so next let's get our cutting mats that we got from the dollar store. These do have two in there. And what we're going to do next is I am going to use a piece that I've already kind of used because I don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to put my template on top of here so that way I'll know where to cut. So we are going to just place it up here. We are just going to cut it down. Let me get it lined up here. All right, so let's go ahead and slice. All right. 
and then we are going to turn it sideways if I can get my hand to get this out of here all right so we are going to go ahead about the two inch mark and we are going to go ahead and cut it all right okay so let's go ahead and try this inside of our cash box so that's why I say it's really cool to have this all right so as you can see it fits in there and I do have that little curve that I told you guys that I do like having in my cash box all right, so I do have a few of these already cut out, so <laughs> just to save time on this video, guys. All right, so we are going to go ahead and let me get all of this mess up and I'll move this out the way so we can get started on putting the cash money tray together. So we're going to take our box and we're going to start inserting our sleeves inside of the box. You can put them how far you want them apart, um, or you can measure how far you want them to be. Um, I don't measure mine. I just put them in there. I just kind of eyeball it. So that's kind of like what I do for mine. But like I said, if you want yours to be perfect, you can go ahead and measure the spaces and kind of, you know, do whatever you need to do to get them to be equal for however you like them. Right, so now we got it all in the specific spots that I want my dividers to be in. It's coming together, y'all. So now we are going to go ahead and use the hot glue gun. And the hot glue gun is not my expertise. So I know there are some people out here who are experts on hot gluing. But <laughs> I just, you know, it is what it is. All right, so what I did, um, I just put like dots on there just to kind of hold it in place but my other one that I made I did put it from the bottom to the top but for this one I just put like dots of them so you can put as how much glue you want and it's totally up to you all right and this is another reason why I kind of make mine's curve because it does help them stand up on their own so when I do have to glue it it does make it a little bit easier and they're not falling all over the place as you can see they're kind of holding themselves up and then I'm just going to take the toothpick to kind of smear the glue out a little bit to make it thinner so that it's not like just beating up. So that's what I use the toothpick for and that does help kind of, you know, kind of keep it so that it's all in a line. All right, y'all, just a few more to glue. And as you can see, gluing is not my thing. But I seriously do recommend the toothpick because as you can see that it is helping to smear the um, hot glue so that that way that it is getting all over the side of the box and then it's also getting on the side of your dividers. So we are almost done. We got one more to do and then I think we should be pretty much just about done with this cash money tray box. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and glue the front and the back of the divider so it can kind of hold it in place really good. So like I said, you can put as much glue as you want. You can put as little glue as you want. So it all depends on how good your hot gluing skills is. So that's totally up to you. All right, so it looks like they are pretty sturdy, as you can see. And guys, I think we are pretty much done with our cash money DIY cash tray. So guys, so what do you think? This right here, I just used an old box that I had because like I said, I'm on a budget. So I'm not going to go buy another tray, guys. All right, so I hope this helps you guys to kind of make your own cash tray at home. And then you can just make it any size that you want. All right, so let's go ahead and see about putting the money in there. As you can see, I kind of did the two picks to kind of smear it up the side a little bit. But let's go ahead and put some cash in here. All right, so we got ones, whoops, 20 back here. We got some more ones. Let me put a one back here because I ain't got to hunt it. <laughs> All right, so um, we got fives and we got, let's see, let's fix this. Okay, all right, then we got a 10. And like I said, you can put as many sleeves as you want. I just put um, just that amount in there because I was just doing this as a tutorial for you guys. So you can put as many of them as you want so there you go guys so that is your DIY cash money tray that you can do at home and save you some funds and this is the one that I made here um, as you can see I did put glue all the way up to the side and like I said I'm not the best with the glue gun but like I said it got the job done so there we go guys 
All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this. And I hope this really helped you guys out. So, like I always say, until next time, guys. Peace.